working? Usually it says like time streamed over here. I don't see it. But over here it's working. All right. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Kicking ass, taking names, and obtaining. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be doing some cube drafts here. Um, I'm super hyped. Let's get right into this. Boom. Showing in. I'm number one. So I got to fill the gap, fill the space. What do we say? Mm, I've been enjoying this cube. I've done two drafts of it so far. Uh, it was down all day yesterday. I was planning on doing several of these, but it was down pretty much the entire day, so I never got around to it. Hey, stay hydrated. About this much orange juice. About this much of this, like, you know, flavor stuff, and then a whole bunch of water. I've already had an amazing day, and it's only noon. Uh... Life is so good. All right, let's keep this rolling. Keep the goodness rolling. All right, what do we have here? Uh, we have the cards that catch my eye in this pack. There's four. Um, well, there's other cards, but the four I'm looking at. Upheaval, Tiki Jiki, Bazaar of Baghdad, and Crater Hoof Behemoth. Those are the ones I like out of this pack. Bazaar of Baghdad, first pick, can be quite strong. So can Kiki Jiki. So can Upheaval. Crater Hoof is the best finisher of the green deck, so that's why I put it in the category, right? It's, like, reasonable cast. Eight mana is not that much to, like, get a cast. Uh, Finale of Devastation is insane with Crater Hoof Behemoth, so that's, a, like, I could take this and wheel this. Um, part of me just wants to take Bizarre. Not a lot of people end up going the... Uh, reanimator deck, and it can also just fit in, like, uh, just a lot of combo decks. Um, people, people fight over artifacts and blue cards all day. Let's take the Bazaar, see what happens, you know? Um, what do we have here? We have Mox Diamond, I'm a big fan of. Uh, Polluted Delta, I like a lot. Really one of those two cards. Loris can Loris can be good when you know with certain cards, but uh like you get a black lotus it's just silly. But I think I'm gonna take uh Mox Diamond. I like Mox Diamond a lot. Not the best Mox. In fact it's you know probably the worst. Um you, it's why isn't uh the like the metalcraft mox in vintage I feel like it deserves to be. So many people play a ton of artifacts, I feel like it would be a good inclusion. Um, like, if Mox Diamond is in, that one deserves to be in. in my opinion. Uh, other cards. Last pack, there was a, a Mind's Desire, so you could take Passing Flames and go in that round. But with our first pick, Bizarre, I think Mox Diamond goes quite well with what do we have here? Sylvan Library can make up the difference of the card disadvantage from the two cards we just took. Him to Turok is a strong card. If you're going to be a mono black, like reanimator deck, uh, him is always a good include just to get a little disruption. Narset's probably the best card in this pack. Um, I think this guy's a good inclusion into the cube. Uh, Warren Power Stone, it's fine. You know, it's like, you know, there's a whole bunch of better cards that do that. I'm honestly thinking Sylvan Library is what I like. I mean, these two cards are such card disadvantage. Sylvan Library is great. It can go into the lands deck, which these two cards already go really nicely into the lands deck. Spells cost one less to cast. Is this for everybody? Is it for everybody? I mean, I think so. I don't know. Um... We got a Signet. Signet's good. Eureka could go and do some stuff, but I think this is like Eureka usually wheels. Um, Solemn Simulacrum, good card advantage. Uh, it's reasonable. I think I'm just going to take Signet, though. Jitte is a good card. Mm, I'm just going to take Signet and see what keeps coming. Uh, what do we have here? Bitter Blossom, something to play super early with. Mox Diamond. Devoted Druid's good. Both of these six drops are great. Probably some of the best six drops. Um, Relic of Agenitus screws us over. Bobble I like because, you know, it's just a redraw. Get a little bit of information. Put a card in the graveyard. 
wooded foothills and thin the deck out tropical island you know one of the best lands um we all we already have simit signet so it can go good in that sense um like part of me wants a bitter blossom but i feel like that's just too uh like fair right um devoted druids hella good i think i'm gonna take devoted druid honestly i don't know it looks like I'm going into like this green deck, um, like a Lance S deck. Speaking of Lance S deck, this guy's good. Uh, Death Right Shaman's really good, we, you know, especially with these two cards. Um, can accelerate. I think I'm going to take Death Right Shaman. I like Death Right a lot. Um, Flipping Karyatid is good. Endurance is a good card. Mm, I'm going to take Karyatid. Um, this is like Alexark, we uh not wheeling, but coming around. Like if we had taken Kiki Cheeky, that would have been good. But I like this beginning shell. It looks good to me. Um this guy's good. Being artisan can be good. Bro signet, more acceleration. Um not the best signet. In fact, it's like from what it looks like we're probably gonna do, it could be one of the worst. Um that said, it's still nice and I still like it. Ephemerate can be good with certain cards. Fiend Artisan. Uh, I'm going to take a big guy. You know, this guy coming into play, I like it a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm scooping up uh, Behemoth and not even. We're no looking back. We are a mono green deck. I mean, this card wheeling is great. Uh, Worn Power Stone's fine. Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine is one of the better swords. Um, I feel like Worn Power Stone could be pretty good. Like, that can really send us to get to these bigger guys pretty quickly. But, yeah, I'm going to take it. I think letting it go would be a mistake. Okay, four, three, four, five, six. It is in the right spot. That just looks so far over. Okay, uh, we'll take this to... I don't... I'm not the biggest Avenger of Zendikar fan, but if I'm not taking it here, people are going to start taking other things. You know, if I had just scooped up this first pick, um, I'd be happy for then, because I would have had Final Devastation as well. Finale of Devastation. I just want to say Final Devastation. I don't know why. Uh, Riding Registrar. And could we be like a green, black rock? A uh, reanimator acceleration into big guys deck i don't know like that doesn't sound like a deck that you know doesn't sound very good mm. what do we have we got uh i mean hey i'll take Everflowing chalice you know i'll take ancestral recall barn could be cool in this deck yes uh infestation that might wheel Archon of Cruelty might wheel. Titan, if Brave Titan's wheeling, this card could wheel. If, you know, Rotting Register is wheeling. But this is an Ancestral, right? I mean, we have some card disadvantage stuff, so taking this is just, like, replenishing. Like, having this and Sylvan Library and stuff is just so good. Um, we also have the Simmet Signet. This guy makes green. I mean, blue. This guy makes blue. Um, Ragavan's an insane one-drop. Um, Excavator could be great, but if we don't get Wasteland or Strip Mine, it's kind of like a waste of a pick. Sneak Attack could do some of these bigger guys. It's not that insane with this guy, unless you want more idiots, little idiots to go with it. Um, we could take Vamp Tutor. I don't even know if we're playing black, though. Um, this couldn't help us play multicolors. It fixes our blue and green, which we definitely will be. Um, and, you know, we have a, a black card over here that I really care about playing that. Um, City of Traders, meh. Ragavan is just the strongest card. I could take this and just try to get better mana. Um, we've already missed a few fetches and stuff that would be good with this. You know what, whatever, I don't care don't care it's just so good i'm gonna take it i won't live to regret that pick but i might not end up playing 
All right, Taiga helps us play this guy. Uh, of course, a prefix could wheel um, a green black segment. That's fine. I'm just going to take this land and be happy. Here's another fixer. Um, Prairie is good, but it's hard to cast. Dark Confidant, more of these like just card engines I like. I, Titan is great. I think one of these should be a Hermit Druid I'd play. I'm just going to take the fixing and be happy with it. Um, Tooth and Nail can get a couple of our big guys. Does the guy give haste creatures or just trample? Just trample. So if you got both of these, it wouldn't actually be that great. Uh, card, more card advantage. Uh, Crucible of Worlds, like if that other guy's wheeling, this guy might wheel, and then maybe pack three, we pick up something. But Cloud Wonder is also just like a great card, can kind of win a game on its own, just steal the deal. But I'm going to take the card. Karn's a good card. Um, Whisperwood Elemental, something to, good to play early, but I'm just going to take Draga Tree Speaker. Uh, Ran Six, another way to return lands. More fixing. Uh, this is our first blue piece of fixing. Uh, scavenging news is good. I'm just gonna. All of these make green mana, so they're like upgrading forest into cards because we want to have green a lot of it. So these are pretty nice. My girlfriend left this here, and I hate it. I knew I was gonna hit this ship. It's actually got. Tobacco in it or whatever, nicotine. She says she's quitting at the end of the month. So and she's she's like, I don't want to quit. But her kids have been like, you said you were gonna quit for over a year. She's like, all right, all right, June first, right around the corner. And if she quits, I mean, I'll just you know, I'm only been I've only been hitting this for a month since we got together. Um. I like this deck. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I want some more. I mean, to make this Deathrite Shaman good, I'm going to need the fetch lands. Um, Bizarre Baghdad is playable. Um, in fact, I maybe I should be picking up some of these Renin Sixes and these guys just to make it so that's like a better card. Um, Ignoble Hierarch, good acceleration, mana fixing. Good. Just good, good, good. Uh, this might have been the backpack with Crucible. I don't know. But here's another red-green fixing. Do I want the red-green one? I think so, because, like I said, I want more. But I'd like... Yeah. Like, plain... See this thing? Yeah, Ancestral, you don't need to play it turn one. In fact, you really don't want... It's, we do want to be playing these guys, right, on turn one. And we want to play Ragged Band on turn one, so this helps all of that. Okay, this guy, I said, uh, might want to take it for this thing, so I think I'm going to pick it up. Uh, of course, Crew Fix, good card. Nice, fits the curve. Dark Confidant, do my plain black? Uh, we have like one, two, three, maybe four, five black fixing. I mean, I don't... The Range Army goes good with... Uh, this guy, but I just love this card. Let's just take it. All right, Plow Wonder. Uh, Crucible didn't wheel, and Ren Six didn't wheel, but we did get this guy. So we got one of the three. Mm -hmm. Which is not great, but not bad. Oh, oh shit, I totally forgot. Pull this thing up. Is anybody chatting? Oh, sorry, guys. What's up? <laughs> I'm the worst streamer, I swear. Okay, Mox Emerald. You know, hell yeah, best mox for us. Misty Rainforest probably doesn't wheel. No Burr Hollywood might wheel. Um, Terastodon would be a good card to wheel. Um, I don't want to play Sun Titan because, you know, obvious reasons. Uh, every color in the rainbow. So this is one, two, three, four. Well, I this is not a land. This is not a land. One, two, three, four, five. So this is 22 right here. Um, Nissa, who shatters the world. Incredible card. Uh, Uro's great. Mm. 
I think I just take this. I don't really have a lot of big stuff, but this is mid-range stuff that can also just, you know, win the game on its own. Um, Greater Garganon being in the cube is very interesting. I haven't seen this one yet. I mean, I guess it would be good with uh, balance, right? That would be pretty sexy. Uh, Wall of Roots is probably what I'm taking. Uh, just looking around. Yeah, none of this really does anything. Wall of Roots as it is. Um, the green black fixing. Uh, a reclamation stage. We don't have any of that effect yet. Um, Fallen Shinobi. We could theoretically be casting this. We don't have a lot of fixing for it yet, though. Um, there's the Splinter Twin. We could have had like the sickest deck for that. Um, but I'm gonna just take Reclamation Stage. Channel, my favorite card. But and I've been, I was thinking about bringing it up, but we don't have anything to go with it, unfortunately. Um, which really sucks because it's really, really powerful. I could take it and speculate. We have how many like. We have a few picks left. What would I be missing out on? Uh, Magda, this guy's pretty good. Mm, it's good against some decks. It's playable in our deck. Uh, we could take this. It helps us cast Ragavan and Dark Confident on early. Um, man, I love this card. Passing it hurts. And we just it instantly punished. Well, not super because we can just take Questing Beast or Wrist, uh, which is good in our deck. Are we? Is this playable? Is getting to ten mana reasonable? We have a pretty decent amount of acceleration. Uh, we could theoretically cast this guy. We have Nissa, um, Born Power Stone makes extra mana. Everflowing Chalice, a lot of dorks. Questing Beast is playing this on like turn two or three is. Really powerful. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm gonna take Questing Beast. I don't know if that might be the wrong pick. Uh, Force of Vigor, I think, is really good. I like Woodfall Primus. In fact, we might want one more big guy, and it fits really nicely into the deck. Um, Uh, but Force of Vigor is so strong against so many decks, and I'd play it main, so I'm going to go for it. Um, we could play this guy. I feel like when we get to 7 mana, we'll probably have double blue. Although it might be a little sketch. We could take uh, Hunt Master of the Fells. We could take uh, another blue segment. I feel like we have enough of that stuff. Yeah, let's take this guy. Harassy Nasty. Um, that's good. Thundery Titan. If I had taken what's whatever it's called, I would have ended up taking that, the channel, just because, you know. Uh, Chain of Vapor is good for the board. None of this is any good. Fallen Shinobi, the disrespect is real. Channel, wow, the disrespect is super real. Ulamog's not coming around, right? Can we pick up the sneak attack? No. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a big old stretch. We have one, two, three, four, five, six for sure. Like six, what I would call lands. Uh, what's better of these two? Um. I think Woodfall Primus is the fact it can regenerate or come back to life. We have Force of Vigor. Um, we have Reclamation Sage. Um, I could just cut these extra colors and make this deck just way more consistent. I could look good. One. Oh, this card's not going to do much. I'm not going to play Bizarre. Um don't think I'm going to play this. I didn't get any fetch lands in. If we're not playing Bizarre, it's just not good enough. Um, 
dark confidant. We have one, two, this could make black three, four, uh, five. Five ways for black channels is not good. We just don't have anything for it. That hurts me so much to cut. So this is six. Twenty six. Make it smaller. Separate them. Put this into the two drops. I want to play seventeen lands, so I'm going to play Mox Diamond, um, which I think I'm going to. So I need three more cuts. Hmm. Maybe Warren Power Stone's unnecessary. Um. This guy might not be that great. It just makes a, you know, just a couple dudes, and then when you don't play a card, it, like, flips and stuff, but... Meh. Okay, one more cut. One more cut. I've never been an Adventure of Zendikar fan. You know, we have three guys that I think are better. Um, yeah, that's my logic. Do I, do I need to play all of these? I do. Because I have a red card, a blue card, and a black card. One of each. It was so silly, but uh, I'm a greedy, uh, and I greed is good. Uh, let's play like so. I'm gonna play one mountain, but the island, uh, one swamp maybe like this, something like this. So oh, this we can play this. This is nine. Could be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Green. We could cut one. We could do this. Okay, 16 lands. Uh, 16 lands with the mock, and then the mock diamond. Underworld mox. Okay, yeah, I think this is a good deck. This looks like a... This looks like a 3-0 deck to me. Some people are going to be like, I don't think this deck looks very good, but I think this deck looks awesome. Not only do I think this deck looks good, I think it looks fun. Like, it hits... It's gonna be fun, interactive. Got to, we're gonna do some sweet stuff with this deck. We're gonna plow under some people into oblivion. We're gonna questing beast hit somebody's face, kill their planeswalker. We're gonna force a bigger somebody's like two artifacts that they need. We're gonna crater hook some behemoth some people into the negative 20, 40, 60 damage. Uh we got a lot of creatures. Um I think this is good. We got card. Uh, advantage with these guys. We got uh, some really good acceleration, some okay accelerations, uh, more card advantage. Nessa just play out some big stuff, gonna fight some big boys. I don't know how many humans we have. Probably none is what it's looking like. One? No. Yeah, so we can't do any of the returning a human to keep this guy alive. But you know what? Humans are losers. I've never met a human I like. Is this just a monkey pirate or is it something else? It's a legendary creature, monkey pirate. Uh, what else would it be? I don't know. Yeah, probably just monkey pirate. Mm. Fallen Shinobi I could play. How does this work? It takes cards from your opponent's library. That player exiles the top two cards of the library. You get to play their two cards. Huh. Do I want to play this instead of Force of Vigor main deck? I mean, we don't really... I mean, that would kind of be sketch, but I could totally see it working. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to make that one change. Uh, and I guess the next question is, do I want Force of Vigor or Plow Under? Um, I think, I think actually Force of Vigor is better. Uh, just save changes, yeah, save changes. Like, um, Force of Vigor, there's just so many artifacts running around in this format, and people like, you know, if someone spends like several like if they play a signet and then a worn power stone or something like that a mana vault right and they're built they're spending mana so like putting two lands on top is fine 
but they'll still have mana, but destroying their mana that they, like, accelerated. Like, they spent mana to get acceleration out there, and then you destroy that. I feel like that is a more uh, immediate uh, impact on the board. Mm -hmm. But might be... The fact that we have... Well, I think, you know, just Rexage that and Primus are enough. You know, like I was thinking it might be excessive, but I feel like it's it's good. It sounds good to me. I have been paired. Let's do this. Uh, this hand looks shitty. Mulligan. Uh, ooh. Man, this hand looks shitty too. Our one. This is our one multicolored land that does not make green. Mulligan again. Alright, this hand looks better. Mox Diamond go away, and the seven card. Let's get that rid of that. And. I really like this, how it's just going to start replenishing itself. Yeah, we mulligan, but we're about to draw a bunch of extra cards. Dark Confidant is kind of ridiculous in our deck with, like, a bunch of sevens and sixes and shit, but... Tell that to somebody who cares. Probably should have just played Sylvan Library, but I want to hit him. I want to get in there. I want to make him feel the pain. It's actually a pretty good interaction, them together. Okay. They're really good together, by the way. Because you can, like, stack them in a way so you're always going to hit a land with uh, the Dark Confidant. I'm paying eight. I don't care what they are. Two lands, oh, like three lands on top, give them all to me. I want action. That's a, a good one to hit. It's like, life. Yeah, pay for life and pay for life. Give them to me. Uh, one, two, three, four. Play Questing Beast and get in there for five. <clears throat> this is a cool deck. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, I'll block. If you want to use, like, oh, it has Menace. Okay, I won't block. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Vortex, okay. Um... One, two, three, yeah, put on top, and put on top, yeah. Get a land, um, we hit him for five, six, I mean, I think I'm going to wreck stage this away, and hit him for five. I have five mana, I can play all of them. That would deal three to me, and then I just die to a lightning bolt or something. Nah, let's just play one. I don't think the derogatory speaker is going to see the light of day the rest of the 
but that's okay. We can double block here. Might be dead. Is what it is. Play the land. Four cards in his hand. Okay. Okay, that's gonna hurt you. You start playing spells. Heroes downfall that. Okay, take another life. Uh, well, all right, I got a two. I need to see some good stuff here. Uh, we're dead? Yep, we're dead. Um, maybe paying eight life against the red green or red black deck isn't ideal uh force of vigor doesn't seem necessary i mean yeah he has one card that goes with it but um fallen shinobi probably just mid I have to connect with a creature and um i'm putting just life gain stuff in uh Yeah, this looks good. I like the changes. Uh, okay. Remember, the last game we mulliganed to five. So we hit him with Ragavan. Next turn we can play this. We could even play a, a three drop if we drew one. That's going to start taking stuff from his deck, making a bunch of mana. Best one drop I've ever made. What a silly card. Okay. I guess we just trade. We have a we are a better long term deck for sure than him. So, um, not only is connecting would be good for us, but getting his guy off the board is also good. For I could have just left it around, like waiting for the day Crater Hoof Behemoth comes into play. Probably would have been better, truly. But. It be what it be. Incinerate, okay? <clears throat> Oh, that sucks. I'm going to need something to get rid of that. And I don't really have a lot in the ways of getting rid of that. At least this guy can block the token. I take... We block both tokens, take four to one of the tokens. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to be able to attack that. I mean, we can start exiling, you know, his creatures and our creatures and gaining life. Slowly staying alive. Yeah, having Ragavan here would be much better. You could just block the rag this guy with Ragavan getting it off the board. Okay. And that sucks because now we can't gain life. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you have enough. Probably should have discarded the land. And it's a mox diamond. Because it just makes Shaman make more mana. Ooh. I was hoping to play against more decks that are, you know, reactive decks. Or like slow ass combo decks than this. Okay. Uh well I have six. I should have just tapped it in response. Like gain some life or some shit. Oh wait, I can't do that. Uh are we dead? I mean I'm not gonna do the math. I mean we are dead. But yeah, we're dead. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Bad matchup. Mm. Who cares? That was fun. I enjoyed that round. Game one was good. If we had been able to do that Dark Confidant with the Sylvan Library, that could have been hella good. Just like one turn with that. Maybe if I had played the Sylvan Library first, uh... That might have been uh, the difference. In game two, I couldn't have not attacked for, with Ragavan. Whatever. I like my hairdo today, guys. Looks pretty good, right? Totally. <clears throat> All right, um, good hand. One drop, two drop, and we, like, recall, refill our hand. I might even recall turn two. Keep, if we don't draw a land, I mean, that seems like the the good play. Good luck. Have fun. Okay. Okay. But this hand would be much better on the draw. I mean, play. But, you know. Move this more to that. Well, no, okay, it doesn't move. Um, I think. You have a black card. I think this guy's better. We could attack for two with it if we like. Uh, ignoble. If we want to ignoble and recall instead of heritage or something. Like some sort of this type of control deck is much more suitable for we want to play and play. I wonder if I should just play multiple mana dork. Screw it. You know, if we walk into a Wrath of God, we walk into a Wrath of God. If we walk into a Wrath of God, we can recall and refill our hand. I'd like him to just tap out and play like something stupid. Back. Yeah, whatever, we're doing it. I was hoping to bait something. Can't counter this, though, so, you know, if he has a path or something like that, he's got a path. Okay. Uh, we're going to get a mountain. Mrs. Landrop. One, two, three, four, five. Untap. 
five. Play this one. Mana leak or something like that. Remand, okay. Uh green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four colors. He's probably on that deck, right? Makes sense to me. I wonder if I should even... Like, we Nissa and make a dude, right? And he has a Rathacod. Like, that would suck. He doesn't have double white. All right, yeah, we're going for it because it doesn't have double white. This guy can make the blue for a recall. Okay. The basic land, I mean, he didn't even have, I mean, he missed one land drop. Yeah, because he was on the play. And he's discarding two cards. He wants to keep his land. I mean, I think he has a wrath. I think he has a wrath, and I don't want to just walk into it. Whatever, fuck it. Mm, we could recall now while he's tapped out, but I want to see if he has wrath and like, and also force of negation. But if he had force of negation, he would have kept done the nest, though, right? So, yeah, I, I see. I hate like myself sometimes in the sense where I know he's got a wrath of God, so why am I playing into it? Right, like he almost certainly has a wrath. Why am I just walking into it? Okay, Irvine. That's not a Wrath of God. You know why you do it? Because maybe they don't have it. It's weird. Playing Magic teaches you some things about, like, understanding when and when not to. But you, at the end of the day, most of the time, I end up being like, well, maybe they don't have it. You know, they can't have it every time. So play like they don't have it. And sometimes they won't. Okay, he's gonna hit Nissa, and then we're just gonna cast Crater Hope and win. One vote, okay. Um, but in poker, right, you can't play like that. Sometimes you gotta make those hard folds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we, I don't know if this is lethal, but it looks like it. Plus 5, 10, 18, yeah, it's 18. Got him. Okay, cool. Now, this is the type of matchup we want Plow Wonder in, and... Uh, Force of Vigor can come out. Uh, uh, Fallen Shinobi was good. Reclamation Sage, I still want to have access to. Deathrite Shaman. He's going to have a lot of instants. This card can, like, eat up some stuff. Uh, this card is good with, like, the thought that he might have Wrath of Gods. Um, he might not have a lot of creatures, so this might not be great. Everflowing Chalice is pretty slow. It's like the worst of our acceleration. But it's also good to hit the Dark Confidant. Alright, we'll just keep 
like that. We'll do the one. Don't want to make change too much. Um, <clears throat> turn one, forest, noble. Turn two, land, mox diamond, questing beast. Attack for five. Mm. Hopefully, he just plays like a tap land next turn. Um. Yeah, we'll play Ignoble. Yeah. It's about to tap unless you control two or fewer. So this is a fast land, so we want to play it next. Yeah, he played a tap land. Nice. Uh, tap. Cast this. Discarding this one, two, three, four, cast questing for five. Attacking for five on turn two. Insane. Insane the membrane. Uh, I even got the underground shit you did with scam. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the scams back in the day. What's up, my friend? How are you, buddy? It's been a hot minute. Hope everything is going well with you on, like, the other side of the world. I wonder where the other side of the world is. Other side of the world. Seattle. Let's see. Antipods. Okay. Okay, the other side of the world for me is kind of in near the Great Barrier Reef. So not quite, but, you know. Can't even play, I gotta live life no matter what. Yeah, man. You live life till you don't get to anymore. That's That's what you do, right? Uh, let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm like, I might as, I mean, I might as well play this one because it's going to enter the battlefield tab later. Okay, so we now we get to hit him for five. He probably has like, you know, a path to exile or something like that. But questing beast did its job. You know, hit him for ten. Um, and then like n now, right. We play this guy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're still a turn away from playing this guy, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, and we have some good draws. I mean, we have like Recall, uh, I think like Sylvan Library, I'd be acceptable. I'd accept. Uh, Plow Under would be sweet. Um, just put him really behind. Okay, he's mana vaulting. All right, dude, I'm F6. Do your worst. These monk tokens are new. I don't think those are the ones that go with it. Definitely. But, you know. But, like, how many monk prowess tokens have there been? I mean, there's this one. Okay, so I'm kind of like... I mean, I'm just going to attack for five. So if I attack for five and he plays a, like... Path to Exile on, um, you know, this guy. It will already be a five side. It will be three, four, five, and then the extra token. So it will be a trade. So if he does it now, yeah, okay, I wouldn't have attacked because Prowess would have, you know, not been it, or Exalted would not have gone. But so we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe he just blocks. Maybe he just takes five. Okay, he's taking five, going to five. We're going to play this tapped land, say no. And now next turn, we can play this Woodfall Primus. Okay, he also has, like, he plays a land, five, eight mana this turn. So that's scary. But, like, th his type of deck is not the one where I'm most scared of, like, having a lot of mana. Yeah, he can do multiple things, but he's not going to, like, just like some giant eight mana, you know, win the game. He just paid two life to look at our hand. Yeah, you know what's coming, baby. 
He played a tap land. So he doesn't have any more access to mana this turn than he did last turn because, you know, he tapped one for this. The only thing is he has a red mana. But he also cast this during his turn, which he has to because it's a sorcery. But now, like, I just, you know, swing in for five. You know, bring the heat. This is lethal. He doesn't have double white, so he can't activate or a white mana at the moment, so he can't activate colonnade. He probably just throws the token in front of it. Uh, so you know that is what it is. He has some counter spells. All right, he's just done. GG's. I mean, oh yeah, I forgot. Poison beast can't be blocked by creature with power two or less. This guy has so many goddamn words on it. He couldn't block. <laughs> he couldn't block. Oh, that's sick. Four cards in hand just did nothing. Oh, man. Sexy. And then Crater Hope Behemoth right around the corner. Dude, that's hot. All right. Uh, how do I get out of here? All right, let's play match three. So, um, I'm going to, this obviously is going to go up on YouTube like all my vintage cubes do. I have a lot of videos going to be coming up soon. In fact, you know, I'm going to start setting up one now. But also, later today, I am going to go play golf at a little par three, or par three chip and putt, which is like literally you just carry two clubs. I'm going to have like a nine iron and a putter and uh, you see this little pocket right here i'm gonna put my phone in here and i'm gonna stream uh golf from my phone it's gonna be fun never been to this chorus but i hear great things supposedly per square foot this park that i'm going to gets more people than like it's like the third most popular park in the country or some shit i mean this is just do the great thing, right? Uh, somebody said, like, right under Golden Gate Park and, uh, you know, Central Park. Uh, but hey, I'm excited. Hopefully, I don't end up getting paired with people. They say it's walk on, so you, you know, it's just kind of they don't even take reservations, you just kind of come in and play. Um, but I'm gonna go in and we're gonna have some fun with it, you know. Um, I'm going to set my phone like that. Should be good. All right. Uh, and this is why we are playing red for this one card. But this hand would not be acceptable without this card. Card is, this is the best one drop ever made. Oh, hold on. We got to hit our opponent with the, you know, our catchphrase. Okay. You went to a pre-release and draft lately? Nice! Oh, it's Frank Lepore! Yo, what up, Frank? Okay. Um, I've played this guy a bunch of times. I love his... Okay, you know, I always say like and comment on my videos. Like and comment and subscribe to Frank. His videos are great. He puts out really fun stuff. I am a big Frank, Frank fan. All the way since the fire, Channel Fireball days. Frank is the, the Shiz 9. Alright. He's getting watery grave. Of course he's playing some blue stuff. Frank knows what's the best color in the view. So do I. That's why I'm playing one card from it. No, don't kill. No. no. Okay. Sad days. I mean, you know, it's okay. That you know, it's actually 
I mean, I'm not going to say it's good for him to destroy this for us, but it is good for the game because this card is so ridiculously busted that him, like, it surviving just like a turn or two wins me the game, probably. You know, what a stupid card. So, um, it's, oh, God. All right. I, I changed my mind. Fuck him. Fuck Frank. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Rink and Mox Jet. What the act? What the H? That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. Now we just can't play like any of our stuff. Oh my god. And the Gleda Ledger. Like, that was out of nowhere. Oh god. Alright, well, he's gonna attack us, and we're going to prevent him to draw a card, and you know. Uh, you know, he doesn't get to draw a card, but, you know, we don't get to draw three, but, you know, we're probably never getting to draw three with him having this in play anyway, so. Yeah, he actually is a pro. I think he won a pro tour. I think this is a pro tour winner that we are playing against. Um, we're going to cast Karn, have him counter it, and, you know, we got to get through this. This gets him one less card in his hand. Uh, when he's drawing stuff, you know, we got to work our way through this eventually. Oh wait, turn, turn off auto yields. Uh, okay. Uh, he didn't want to. Okay, hold on. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, reveal the top two. Give me one. What do we got? Sylvan Library or Holga the Great Ape? All right, we got a Sylvan, which he'll probably counter. Um, it's good, though, because if he's attacking the Karn, he doesn't get to draw the card. So he's going to attack our face. He draws two cards. Uh, so he's, like, refilling his grip. Which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. One, two. One, two. Oh, he's... Okay, he killed it with that. Okay, so now we're just not getting that. All right. Um, one, two, play Sylvan Library. Yeah. One less card he's going to get to draw. I mean, we drew a lot of lands this game. We have a ton of creatures that could be blocking this little door. Um, but, you know, he's got two incredibly powerful hits. This game's not looking good for the home team, but I'm having so much fun. I like playing against good players. Like, when you play against a really bad player, it's like, it feels like taking candy from a baby. But hey, that's good candy. I want your candy. Give me your candy, kid. I like candy. Bubblegum and taffy. He's going to bring his Gladiladra back from the graveyard. Hey, oh. this engine is sick. Uh, we have one. Oh, wait, he. Oh. Yeah, okay. Mm, I've seen enough. All right, all right, all right. Uh, a handful of nothing. All right, so how do we beat this? Mmm, mmm. Hmm. Do we want to sideboard any? I mean, this guy can block. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring in this. He has uh, uh, Eternal Witness. He seemed to be putting cards into the graveyard. This guy can block that 1-1 one, one that has to attack every turn and was drawing him cards. Um, Felon Shinobi's Probably hella good here. Fourth and Vigor is hella good. Um, Quetzin Beast would be great. I'm going to take out... Well, Dark Confidant, uh, just landing it early is just so good. Um, and we have several ways to do that. Like on turn one, we have one, two, three black sources. Four black sources if you count diamond, which I do. I do, and I'm going to. 
Um, Mm -hmm. Um, Cloudwonder could be good, but he has like so much, um, like artifact acceleration. This card might not end up being great. He also has Glenelendra, so it's like a five mana. He spends one mana to counter it. Like, that's not going to be ideal for us. We could play Braids and try to get underneath him. But I feel like he's going to have more permanence than we are, so that might not be ideal. Um, these cards are expensive, but they're like our win cons. I could cut Woodfall Primus. Kind of expensive, and this is fine. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make that one switch. All right. Um, we don't have that black. I said we have five for early, but you know, I think this is you can't. We can't mulligan this hand. Um, we can't mulligan. We keep. Snapped. Right. Where were you last turn, you sack of shit? Fucking piece of shit. Okay. Um play this now. I guess I'm gonna play out this guy, because I wanna get Dark Confidant in play. We're going to play, like, play this guy first. Okay. I don't think he has that much removal in his deck. He's got some, like, but, I mean, if he has one for Bob, that's the thing about a good player. They seem to always have it, and I, you know, I respect it. Yep. Thought so. I thought so. Uh, but hey, that was a hell of a good draw. Let me recall real quick. Uh, one, two, play Sylvan Library. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna develop Sylvan Library, this guy, and level it up. All right, later, brother. I'm probably going to be, this is going to be my last, well, if I lose, this is going to be my last round today. So. Thanks for stopping by, as always. No, well, at least we have Sylvan Library. Hey, yes. Pay for life, pay for life. Play a land. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play this. Attack for uh, four, nine, uh, 13. All right. Okay, Shriek Maw, killing off our boy. Oh, brutal. Okay, um... I mean, I kind of just want to pay 8. Again, get deeper into my deck, attack for 2. Any attacks. No, I can't, I can't do that. Put on top, and we'll pay four for this one. Back for two.
He's got a grip full of stuff. That land does him damage if he ends up using it. Oh, God. Okay. Um, which Paul Prime is? Oh. Damn, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, put on top. Pay for life. One, two, three. Play this. Play this. Um, there you go. Oops. I forgot to block. Well, that was fun. <laughs> way, way to go out. Anyway, hope you all had a good time. I know I did. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Kick ass, take names, and obtain. Catch you all on the flip side. Be kind to yourself and others. First. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can. How do I host people? Let's see. I got a host Frank. There's a that's a thing. Uh let's raid. Let's raid channel. Uh Frank. Let's see if he's online. Frank Lapore. Start raid. Sending my one viewer. Watch for a minute. He's a good player. You know? I gotta give it up. Um, yeah, I don't know how really this works, but. Um. Uh, mm, let's see. Why is this thing going slow? Anyway, I gotta go. Catch y'all later.